what's up everybody this is big sarge back with another video and in this video i'm going to be explaining to you the 17 charlie or the cyber operations specialist mos in case this is what you want to do if you decide to join the u.s army so let's get into it if you've ever been curious about what it's like to be a cyber warrior in the u.s army then you're in for a treat today we're going to be diving deep into one of the most cutting edge and intriguing roles in the military which is the 17 charlie mos also known as the cyber operations specialist so let's break it all down together what this job entails how you get there the training you'll go through what a day in the life looks like and even what the future might hold if you decide to jump into this high tech career first things first what is a 17 charlie so in a nutshell 17 charlies they are the army's cyber warriors they're tasked with defending the army's digital networks identifying vulnerabilities conducting offensive cyber operations so you could think of them as the hacking the bad guys and gathering critical intelligence so in other words they're like the digital versions of special forces working to protect and exploit the virtual battlefield now the 17 charlie mos this is one of the most highly sought after after cyber jobs in the army it's part of the army cyber branch which was officially established in 2014 to keep up with the growing importance of cyberspace in modern warfare and as you can imagine the world of cyber is constantly changing and 17 charlies are right in the thick of it all right so let's go ahead and break down the mission exactly what is the type of stuff that 17 charlies actually do so here's a quick breakdown the first is called defensive cyber operations imagine someone trying to break into your house except it's your network 17 charlies they are trained to spot intrusions track them down and stop them in their tracks they work with advanced detection systems threat intelligence and incident response tactics to keep army networks secure then there's offensive cyber operations. Now, this is the cool part everyone wants to know about. Offensive operations, this involves penetrating enemy networks to disrupt their operations, gathering intel, or even neutralizing digital threats. And of course, this is all done within strict legal and ethical boundaries. Also, there's cyber intelligence. So a big part of the job involves gathering information about potential threats. In 17 Charlies, they might analyze logs, data traffic, or even dark web chatter to figure out what's brewing out there. And then there's training and readiness. So cyber is always evolving. So 17 Charlies, they spend a lot of time staying up to date, running drills, refining their skills, and working with cutting edge tools. Now you might be wondering, can anyone just become a 17 Charlie? And that's a good question. Well, the 17 Charlie MOS, this is not an entry level job that you can just walk right into. There are some pretty strict eligibility criteria. So let's go ahead and break it down. First, there's the ASVAB requirements. So you're going to have to take the ASVAB, which stands for the Army Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, like everyone else joining the Army. For 17 Charlie, you need to get a GT or a general technical score of 110 or higher. Plus, you'll need to have an ST or a skilled technical score of 112. Then there's getting a security clearance. So cyber warriors, they handle sensitive information. So you're going to need to be eligible for a top secret security clearance. That means a background check, interviews, and a squeaky clean record. Then there's education and aptitude. So while a college degree is not required, having a solid background in computers, networking, or cybersecurity, all of that definitely helps. So if you're already a tech whiz, then you're one step ahead. Then there's moral and physical standards. So just like any other soldier, you're going to need to meet the Army's physical fitness and moral standards. All right, so let's say you've decided to go for it, and that's great. So exactly what is the process? Well, step one is the enlistment and screening. So you'll start by working with your recruiter to make sure you meet the basic qualifications. From there, you'll take the ASVAB, you'll undergo the security clearance process and get medically cleared. Then you're off to basic training because all soldiers that go through basic training is about 10 weeks of learning how to be a soldier. So just prepare for a life of doing push-ups, ruck marches, weapons training, and all of that great army stuff. And then after that, you're getting shipped off to AIT or advanced individual training. So here's where things get cyber specific. 17 Charlies, they go to the cyber school at Fort Eisenhower, which used to be known as Fort Gordon when I was in the military. But regardless, this course is no joke. It's about six months of intense classroom and hands-on work. During AIT, you're going to cover topics like network fundamentals, learning about different operating systems like Windows and Linux, cybersecurity basics, ethical hacking and penetration testing, malware analysis, and digital forensics, in addition to scripting and coding, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So basically, you're going to work with real-world tools and scenarios to build up your skills. 
And then after you successfully complete all of that, you're going to be shipped off to your first unit. And you're probably going to end up at places like Fort Meade, which is the home of the U.S. Cyber Command, or you might still reside at Fort Eisenhower, or you can get sent to pretty much any other unit that has a cybersecurity component. And from there, you're going to get your first taste of life as a 17 Charlie. So what is it actually like on a day by day basis? Well, it's not exactly Hollywood. You're not running around with a joystick hacking into the mainframe in some dark room, but it is exciting in its own way. So a typical day might look like this. You're going to wake up at oh dark 30 in the morning to go do physical fitness. So just like any other soldier, you are expected to stay in shape. You're going to attend briefings and updates. So cyber threats, they change daily. So expect daily sit downs to talk about what's going on. There's going to be a whole bunch of hands on work. So you could be analyzing network traffic for suspicious activity, hunting down malware or working on penetration testing exercises. There's going to be a bunch of collaboration because cyber, this is a team sport. So you're going to work closely with other 17 Charlies, intelligence analysts, and even other branches of the military. And then there's going to be a whole bunch of training and drills because threats, they never stop and neither does your training. So there's always a new system to learn, a new exploit to study, or a new tactic to master. So now you're probably wondering, what tools do 17 Charlies actually use? Well, here's a peek. The first one is called a cyber range. And you could think of these like digital playgrounds where you get to safely practice offensive and defensive tactics. Then there's this thing called SEAM or Security Information and Event Management. So you could think of tools like Splunk or Elasticsearch where they help you analyze tons of data to spot suspicious patterns. Then you have malware analysis tools. So you have tools like IDA Pro or Wireshark that help you dissect malicious code to see what it's doing. And then there's scripting and automation. So things like Python, PowerShell, and Bash scripts, these are bread and butter for automating tasks and digging deep into systems. So now let's talk about exactly why this job matters. So here's the thing. 17 Charlies aren't just messing around with computers. They're at the heart of modern warfare. In today's world, you don't have to be on a physical battlefield to cause damage. A single successful cyber attack, this thing can shut down power grids, leak classified information, or sabotage critical infrastructure. So that's why 17 Charlies are so crucial. They are on the front lines of defending the Army's digital assets, and that's a pretty big deal. Now, of course, it's all not sunshine and rainbows. The 17 Charlie MOS can be tough. There are going to be some long hours because cyber missions do not always stick to a nine to five schedule. You might be working long or odd hours, especially if there's a real world incident going on. There's going to be constant learning. So cybersecurity is always changing. So you're going to need to keep up with new threats, vulnerabilities and tools. They are security. Now, because you're dealing with classified information, there's a lot of need to know stuff. So you have to be disciplined and trustworthy. Then there's the overall general army life. So you have to remember that you are a soldier first. You need to be ready for field exercises, deployments, and all the typical army stuff alongside your cybersecurity duties. Now let's talk about some opportunities for growth. So here's the good news. If you're willing to put in the work, the 17 Charlie MOS can open up tons of doors. There's certifications. So during your time in the Army, you have a chance to earn highly respected cyber certifications like the CompTIA Security Plus, the Certified Ethical Hacker, the CISSP, and much more. And these certs are gold in the civilian world. Then there's career progression. So in the army, you can rise up through the ranks, taking on leadership roles or specializing even further. And then there's opportunities for you to cross over to the officer ranks where you can become a cyber warrant officer or just a cyber officer as well. And then there's the civilian transition. So when you leave the army, you'll be a hot commodity. The cyber skills that you develop as a 17 Charlie are in massive demand in the civilian sector, everything from federal agencies to private companies. Now, before we wrap all this up, let's go ahead and bust a few myths right here. Myth number one when it comes to 17 Charlie is people think that you have to be a computer genius. That is not true. While it does help to have some tech skills, the Army will train you up. So if you're willing to learn, you can absolutely succeed. The second myth is it's all about sitting in front of a computer. Now, sure, there is a lot of screen time, but you'll also be part of a dynamic team working on real world missions that have real world impacts. And another myth is you'll be stuck in one job. Now, that's not true. The cyber world is huge. And as a 17 Charlie, you have opportunities to branch out, maybe into digital forensics, threat hunting, or even policy and strategy roles. So how do you know if the 17 Charlie MOS is right for you? So let's be real. 17 Charlie is not for everybody. So here's a quick checklist to see if this might be your kind of thing. 
So do you love problem solving and puzzles? Are you comfortable with constant learning? Do you like working as part of a team? Are you okay with the army life when it comes to PT, field exercises, and following orders? And are you fascinated by technology and cybersecurity? Now, if you are nodding your head as I stated all of that, then the 17 Charlie might just be a perfect fit for you. There you have it, folks. That was your deep dive into the 17 Charlie MOS. From defending army networks to taking the fight to the enemy in cyberspace, it's a job that's as challenging as it is rewarding. So if you're thinking about joining the army, you've got a knack for tech, you might want to seriously consider the 17 Charlie path. It's a chance to serve your country, develop cutting edge skills, and set yourself up for an awesome career, whether you stay in uniform or you move on to the civilian world later on. But remember, cyber warriors, they are just as important as those on the ground. In this digital age, they're the ones making sure the army can keep moving forward, secure and unstoppable. And with that, go ahead and let me know what you think, and I will holler at you all on the next video. So, peace.